good day everybody thanks for watching the video i appreciate it well it was a long weekend it was a nice weekend we had a lot of fun and it capped off a long week before that we got a lot of work done we got a brand new chicken coop made we got the little pig house made within the pig area it's all in the same area now the chickens have moved as you saw in the other video they're all secure and uh, everything there is doing really good ton of work there done <clears throat> greenhouse is basically done we're supposed to be getting a load of topsoil today i believe so that we can get rest of the gardening stuff done and then plants can come out and go into the greenhouse and we'll starting our gardens for 2024 so super excited about that so i hope the topsoil does come today but I'm also feeling really stupid. Um, I came back here today. I wanted to check my troll cams. And uh, I thought I am going to spend some time back here. It cooled off quite a bit today. <clears throat> well, technically the last two days. But uh, we've got a cold front coming in. So it's cool. It's supposed to only go up to 14 degrees Celsius today. And uh, <clears throat> so I thought I'd have a little fire sit and relax. And just you know enjoy the birds and stuff like that. And uh, I got a bear on the trail cam. So wait till the end of the video and you can see the bear. But uh, I was sitting there checking trail cam and I was sending pictures to the beautiful one and dad and stuff at the house and a couple buddies. I was like, check it out. You know, we finally got one this year. And uh, lo and behold, coyotes came in right in front of me. One had wandered off before I got my video even uh, started. Video is not the best, but I'll share that also at the end. But the coyotes were only about two yards inside the bush. They were being super sketch, as always. I mean, they're wild animals. Yeah, but there, there's a lot of them around here this year. Everyone is saying that it, they're almost out of control. And uh, they're open season for coyotes. And I don't want them around here, especially with the pigs now. A chicken, I mean, if one chicken gets picked off... I don't like it, but I mean that's that's one thing. But now we got the pigs and stuff like that. And we want to grow our our homestead. <clears throat> we have to control the population, and I did not have my gun with me, and I just felt stupid. I mean, a homesteader should always have a weapon on hand, um, especially you know obviously there's bear here now. We I've seen them and coyotes, but disappointed in myself that I wasn't caring. But, I mean, what do I do? I mean, I didn't think I was going to even see anything. So, I thought I was just going to sit and listen to the birds. <laughs> but, uh, now I'm just going to head back to the house. I got some uh, planning to do, a few things to lean to uh, part of the barn. I will go up to the house and I'll do a quick video up there. I, I want to build a wall on the end of the lean-to. Um, they close it off because, for one, I don't want predators to get into the lean-to and have easy access to the pigs or the chickens and stuff like that but we're also going to be moving the kit the cats and the kittens out to the lean to they've gotten big enough now they're starting to run around the basement and that's where we have all our plants and stuff like that under the lights so they haven't wrecked anything yet but they're only getting bigger and faster they'll probably start getting a lot more rambunctious more than they are and they may wreck some plants and I don't want that to happen either because that is our food security. So when we moved here there was an old building in the backyard. Um, I may be able to find some pictures of it. When we were tearing it down. Um, but it was leaning pretty bad. And so we took it down for safety for the kids because we knew Riker would get in there and uh, want to climb and bounce around, whatever. So I still have the sections of walls. So what I'm going to do is just take the saws all, clean up the sections really nice, drag them over to where the lean-to is and just stand them up, and then I'll leg bolt that in. And once that section's all walled in, then I'll cut a door and stuff like that. But I might as well use, recycle those old walls that I've saved and, and do that instead of using any new uh, wood and st it's it's not worth it it's kind of silly to go buy wood if I have what I need here so and recycle it 
Hey everybody, Mountain to Lean To. I wanted to show you the work we've been doing. There's the greenhouse side. There's the new chicken coop and the new pig house. And as you can tell, they're actually all here to see me. I'll flip the camera around and show you. And quite literally, they're all here to see me. Hey guys. Hi Dolly. Hi Dolly. Yeah. She's such a sweetheart. <coughs> you guys want attention too? Hey, VIP. Aren't they just adorable? Are you my girl? Huh? Are you my girl? Yeah. Yeah, you're my girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're my girl. Look at those eyes. And you didn't think pigs were adorable. These guys are just sweethearts. I love these guys to death. But as you can see, a chicken coop here, pretty st simple, straightforward. Got the roost, a nesting box right there. Very simple, awesome, awesome build. Got some eggs in there. Greenhouse, these are the totes that we need to get filled up. garden area needs a little bit of work yet so what we're thinking about doing is putting in the door here closing off that gate and allowing the chickens and the pigs to come in here for a week scratch around do whatever they got to do that'll kind of help us with tilling i'm hoping the new load of topsoil is going to go back there But this is working out amazing for us. And the new pig house. Nothing can get in there. So what I did is the back here, I just unscrew that and I clean that in if I need to. I'm going to make a door here on hinges so I can open that and I can put straw and hay and stuff in there. Right now it's just got some screws in it holding it. So I'm just going to grab some eggs here. Let's flip the latch. Yep, there's eggs, so that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. He went for a ride. Three, four, I got three earlier. I know, Dolly, I know. I'll come out soon after supper and I'll come sit with you. Okay, girl? Hey, Dolly, did you tell all these other little ladies here that they have to pay rent? Because it looks like they're living rent free. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you good girl. You're such a sweetheart, aren't you? Aren't you? I'll come out in the pen later. Hey, piggies. How's the piggies? <clears throat> I got a tree for you guys. We'll see what you guys do with the ball. They like to roll around their food dishes. Let's see if we can get them a ball to roll around. Not much. I'm sorry. I'm petting someone already. We have to. Okay. Okay, can you get up off my foot, please? Here. Can come over here? Oh, hey, puppy. Hey. Oh, chicken. Oh, 
Ellie. Someone's happy. Yoshi. Yoshi. Leave it. Don't. Hey, bud. Watch what you're doing. What are, you, what are you flipping there, Riker? Pancakes. Pancakes! Good job. Decent job, buddy. Yeah. It's okay. Flatten it down. It'll stick back together. There you go. Yeah, it'll there you stick go. back together. There you go. Don't push it down. There you go. Perfect. That's dope. Just leave them there. Yeah, they got to cook. A few minutes on that side, too. Oh, it's bubbling. It's going to be... Bye. Bye.